So, Margaret, you're going to um, take us from uh, DAD to DGD, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Uh, dulcimer players have a well-deserved bad reputation of playing everything in the key of D. They get tuned in either DAD or DAA and just stay there for the rest of their life. And um, not all songs were uh, intended to be played in the key of D, and not all songs work all that well with this fret pattern. So uh, let's take a couple of tunes, for instance, that are difficult to play out of this tuning. Um, one is uh, the um, old, see, old Groundhog. You have to go. string. So a lot of those notes, bum, 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 bum. Okay, so we're wandering below the lowest note of the scale. Another one that's hard is Amazing Grace. Just that beginning phrase, you have to go look for notes on the middle string. Which is not a terrible deal, but it's it's tricky. Okay, it's trickier than some things. So, what I recommend is retuning one string. That's taking your middle string A note down one step to the note G. Now, just so you'll know, the fourth fret on the bass string will produce the pitch A right now. So you see that on the bass string matches my open middle string. If I move my finger down to the third fret, now I'm producing a G here. Here, that's one step lower, and now that's the sound I want to get on my middle string. So now it sounds like this, but I want it to sound like this. So I'm going to take my middle string, kind of get it tuned up. You can usually, even without a tuner, get it by ear because now that the third fret should match the middle string and I'm a little tiny bit sharp you can you can uh, get it exactly with your tuner but you see I got very close even without a tuner and on good days I could get it without a tuner so now this is an Ionian fret pattern which for those of you li who liked DAA patterns the scale now starts on three, goes to four, five, uses the six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so my lowest note is here of my scale, but now I've got one note, two notes, three notes below do. Okay, or below the beginning of the scale. So now, without having to search for notes, I can play songs like Old Groundhog, which would now in this uh, uh, fret position would go like this. See, all my notes were right there on the melody string. Amazing Grace the same way. So that is the beauty of being able to retune one string and get a whole new key out of the deal. And um, for, you know, because a lot of tunes need to be in the key of G and you've got those extra notes below those. So I highly recommend the DGD tuning for G tunes.